here in the episode of Chord Play. This is the Chords of Caius, and I mentioned at the end of the previous episode for Queens of the Stone Age that I had an additional, you know, idea using the C tuning, or tuned down two whole steps, and this is it. And Caius formed in Palm Desert, California in 1987, and co-founder Josh Holm was only 14 years old when he put the band together. That's really cool. And they basically started, you know, playing these uh, impromptu kind of party, you know, desert gigs literally out in the middle of nowhere in the desert and then you know fans of the band you know started to appear and party and, and these you know impromptu kind of outdoor gigs and it really became popular and then the next thing you knew they released their first album Wretch independently it caught some attention they signed a record deal and Josh Holmes parents actually had to co-sign his uh, record contract because he was underage and that's so cool he was literally a kid formed a band you know playing some gigs out in the desert and the next thing he knew, it became a rock star. So I'm not going to go too deep into Josh Holmes' bio or history, because I did talk about him in the Queens of the Stone Age episode right before this one. But definitely, Josh is a pioneer and introduced the world to this kind of uh, dark, you know, desert, stoner rock kind of style with Caius. And he continues that style and approach with Queens of the Stone Age. It's a little bit different with Queens, but definitely with Caius... You know, a lot of songs had this drop tuning, you know, in C, and just this heavy, abrasive, angry, you know, kind of sound, but I really like it. And definitely, even though they didn't really explode in popularity, they definitely saturated and influenced everybody on the scene and had a cult following, you know, that formed. But then Caius broke up in 1995, and you have to think, 1995, that was kind of the pinnacle of the alternative grunge era in the 90s. And speaking of different tunings, the C tuning that we've been looking at in the last few episodes, you know, is really interesting. And this is actually the first time I've released three episodes of chord play back to back like this, but they're all, you know, interconnected or related, so I wanted to include them all together on the channel. But so this is really interesting tuning, and I've honestly never really visited C tuning for very long. I always just kind of briefly visited it, and then we go back to a regular tuning. But I've actually been, you know, tuned to C tuning with this guitar for the last week and a half, and I've been playing with it. And I actually wrote a bunch of new music and started recording, you know, some of my ideas. So I don't know if I'm working on a new album or what right now, but this tuning definitely opened some doors and has inspired me. And that's something you want to remember for yourself. You know, different tunings can definitely kind of shake things up and inspire you musically. And whether that's open tunings or dad dad or drop D or down a whole step, down two whole steps or whatever, definitely a different tuning can shed some light on some new ideas or maybe open some different doors. Or maybe just shake things up and make things fun, you know, for a little while in your studio or whatever. But aside from um, Catatonia, Queens of the Stone Age, and Caius, there's a lot of bands out there that have used the C tuning. And here's an image with some bands that have used this tuning either briefly, you know, for a few songs, or have used it on complete albums. The music in this episode actually came from four different Caius albums, uh, three studio albums, and there's one track from a compilation album. And Caius the band released four studio albums, and they've had a couple compilations or greatest hits released. And definitely three of their four studio albums, uh, Blues for the Red Sun, Welcome to Sky Valley, and The Circus Leaves Town, those are literally considered, you know, pioneering, you know, stoner or desert rock albums. And we're going to pull some music from that and just basically shed some light and kind of expose some of Caius's music. So here we go. The opening, that's the song Demon Cleaner from Welcome to Sky Valley, and it's something like this. <laughs>
you've got this kind of you know melodic line that's uh, kind of played drum style with the open D string right there in the beginning and it doesn't really ring the entire time it's just right in the very beginning and then you hear that open D string kind of dissipate like this <laughs> the time you shift up right there that's when you don't really hear that D string anymore like this and then right about the time I shift up to that A note you know I am guess you know my fret hands kind of coming in contact with that D string I'm also muting you know partially there with my picking hand too descending pattern there with those pull-offs. I'm using my pinky there. And then you hear this really cool, uh, it's kind of, you know, moving. It's a D power chord riff, but you're hearing... So right there, grab the, you know, single D, and then you're going to move from that G to A right there with a hammer on. And then you're making that D power chord. sliding up to that F with my index finger and then back to that D. You actually kind of slide past the D, that way you can slide or shift back into it when it starts again. Then you hear this really interesting mutation there. So that D, that G to A, and then you're actually going to play this E flat right there. concert so check out some of Tool's live performances of Demon Cleaner. They totally rock. Next up is the song Freedom Run. This is from the album Blues for the Red Sun. It's something like this. <laughs> So it starts with this uh, opening part. It kind of reminds me of the interlude from War Pigs by Black Sabbath. This thing. If you're familiar with War Pigs, which who isn't, uh, that should sound kind of similar to that interlude. It's not the exact same thing, because actually, uh, you know, War Pigs would be holding that type of chord shape, and it's actually in a different key. But that's basically A7 right there implied. So right there, it's the open A, and then this uh, C power chord right there, C5, there's your C and G, and then you're doing this G to F sharp slide, like that. G5 and then start the beginning again. And then you're doing these excessive slides right there. Uh, C5 to B5 and then G5 to F, uh, F sharp 5. And then you want to slide A5 to C5 right there. And then loop the whole thing. Next up 
was the song The Old Booze Rooney, and this is from the album And the Circus Leaves Town, and it's something like this. <laughs> power chords in the beginning, this D to E, and then that low E down there. Keep in mind we're tuned down two whole steps, so that's not D and E anymore, but I'm just referring to where they are on the fretboard right there. But you're going to literally grab, you know, D, 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 and then this E, D to that E. <laughs> D, E to D to that lower E, and then C, D to C to that lower E. Right, you got this little melodic, you know, solo thing. from And the Circus Leaves Town album, and it's not all about these fuzzed out mammoth power chords with Caius. Sometimes they also have these quieter moments like this. <laughs> top there. You can kind of hear that, that higher note in there. So it's an A5, but you're also adding the ninth right there, uh, that B note. And then you're sliding that A5 into a B5 right there. And then you're moving that B5 down to G5 right there. And he's also implying G major 7 with that F sharp right there. C major right there, that C and E note. So that first pass. And you're going to move way up here, and you're going to basically grab that open A, that D note, and that uh, A note right there. but then he starts grabbing that G, so that's kind of like an A7 right there. And that same B5, the same uh, G major 7 action right there. And back to that little partial C major. So it's really just the addition of that uh, A7. up is the song Whitewater, and this is from the Welcome to Sky Valley album, and it's something like this.
yeah, so it starts with this really interesting intro part, and you're basically sliding the C up to D, and then play the open D string. And then you're gonna grab this uh, G note, pick the open A, and then slide that G while it's still working into A. Like that. So it's really intricate, even though it's really simple to play. But you're wanting those notes to kind of overlap and ring like that. slide down to F, play the A note, and then slide that F note while it's still ringing to G. Like that. And then do the first part again. Let all that ring. And then the third time you're doing... And you're going to turn these into chords. F5 to G5 right there. Let all that ring and then do the first thing uh, one more time. And then you hear it kind of slowly build up and I'm kicking on the fuzz of course. Then you got this A riff, so the open A string and then you're doing a hammer on from G to A there on the D. G to A and then C to D like this. Right there, you're gonna continue that A riff and then bang, you know, C5 to G5 like this. Right there, you're gonna change the riff ever so slightly and then back to that A riff. You know, literally just moshing through that riff. Last but not least is the song Fatso Forgotso, and this actually appears on an EP that's part Caius, part Queens of the Stone Age. It also appears on two Caius Greatest Hits compilations, and this is actually tuned in drop D. So we're tuned down two whole steps, and now we're in drop D. So the low E is now a B flat, and this is very low, very growling and sludgy and uh, something like this. <laughs> You're starting with this, you know, really uh, obnoxious intro. And keep in mind we're in drop D, tuned down, two whole steps. So that's just, you know, rubber band strings, big time. They're just real spongy and springy like that. And uh, you're literally just grabbing the open strings and then that F, uh, back the open strings, F to G. Basic one finger power chord you can play with your thumb. Use your pinky. But anyway, after that intro part, then you've got this. Um, G and then F G and then we're moving up to that B flat and then we're going back and then we're also grabbing this D flat right there so it's a cool riff <laughs> Thank you.
That's going to wrap this episode of Chord Play with the Chords of Caius, and definitely a very interesting and overlooked, nearly forgotten band, you know, from the late 80s and through the 90s. And they did break up in 1995, and you have to think that was the pinnacle of the height of the grunge alternative revolution, even though Caius really is an alternative or a grunge band. You know, they formed in the late 80s, and they were active long before alternative music, you know, exploded. But it's really interesting to notice that they were done in the mid-90s. And then uh, Josh Holm did start working with Screaming Trees temporarily, and the next thing he knew, he formed Queens of the Stone Age. But it's a really interesting band, overlooked, like I said, nearly forgotten, obscure, you know, not a lot of people know Caius. But when you talk to somebody that does know this band, they're usually like this die-hard, radical Caius band that know all this information. Maybe they even went to some of those early, you know, desert concerts or something. I mean, they're... They're definitely, you know, diehard, just these cult, you know, fanatical fans of Caius. Really cool band. So anyway, leave some feedback and comments. Please subscribe to that lessons, and I'll be back before you know with more content and material. Thank you.